Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I think this is going to be a fast video, but no, once you start editing, sometimes it ends up being a little longer. I've been seeing lots of comments recently asking about why should you change your ADS sensitivity? And to define that, that means your aim down sights. So whenever you have your weapon on Apex Legends, whenever you right click or hold the trigger and you're aiming to be more accurate. The fast answer, it's really a sensitivity that feels just comfortable for you. If you don't know what feels comfortable for you, don't change it yet. Leave it at default. There's no reason to change it. The reason to change it is to provide comfort and more control by slowing it down for the ability to react or speeding it up to be able to catch up to a target that otherwise maybe your sensitivity might be too slow on. Now, the next question that we're going to answer along on top of the prior thing we just mentioned is why change your ADS sensitivity? Well, let's go into the science a little bit of this. Most games actually slow down your aim down sight sensitivity, meaning it takes longer to produce a full centimeters per 360. And if you're on controller, it takes longer to do a full rotation. If you practice all day in an aim trainer, then the ADS sensitivity may feel a little too slow. Maybe you should match it to your hip fire for more comfort, since that sensitivity is one that you're technically more comfortable with. This is also huge for controller players using, let's say, a six times magnification sniper scope. It is very slow, but if you go into your ADS settings, you could speed it up to match more of what feels comfortable. Or something, when you ADS too fast, you can adjust accordingly. Maybe the sensitivity is actually too fast and you actually need to adjust it to provide more precision. Now, what settings do I use? Well, for the longest time, I personally have used 1.25 in Apex Legends, which matches my 1x and my 2x sense. Because, well, with 1,400 plus hours of aim training, it made sense that what that's what feels comfortable. Now, why do people aim train hip fire in aim trainers? Well, this is theory time. Your hip fire is your base sensitivity. One that you do when you look around natural in the game without your ADS or aim down sights. If you improve the control on the base, then your ADS sensitivity as it scales will also improve because the faster sensitivity is naturally going to be harder to control because it requires precision and fine movement. When you ADS, your FOV gets tighter. In other words, your FOV is getting lowered. The sensitivity is lowered to help match what the hip fire sensitivity should organically feel like. Here's an example that if you kept your hip fire sensitivity and you match it to your six time magnification scope, it's going to feel overwhelmingly fast. The example I always provide is think of your sensitivity like a camera zoom. If you have a wide lens, a low scope on your weapon, it's going to feel like it's a lower sensitivity, but you're still doing the same range of motion. Let's say you had a long lens for your camera, super, super zoomed in, that every time you jiggled or moved around, it felt like the movement was dramatic. It's not, your fingers are still producing the same movement, but it's heightened because you have a tighter field of view. Now, I heard some feedback from the live stream and everyone was impressed with my 3X zoom recoil control. I decided then to have some fun and match my 3x sensitivity to my 2x and 1x, meaning that low sensitivity is consistent. The results I found as I put them in the background testing in the arena was an interesting effect to my accuracy. I was actually a lot more comfortable than I would be. And I'm doing this exercise to prove that you can find different comfort with different sensitivity settings. There's not just a one-all be-all, and it's not necessarily about muscle memory, because muscle memory I focus on the words, how do you improve your mouse control? Or how do you improve your tendon muscle? Because sometimes your hands have more tendons than muscle. How can you improve those to where if you throw anything at your hand, arm, or fingers that you feel in control? Now, what is the, now is this an effective long-term use? Well, right now I'm trying it out for fun, just for the sake of this video. But overall, it proves that changing ADS can be effective in trying new things. You should ask the question, what is your intended goal? If it is precision, then lowering your sensitivity from your ADS is going to be more effective. If you want more speed, then raising it is going to be the way to approach this. Just remember the pros and cons of low versus high sensitivity. Low sensitivity provides better precision and improved stability as the pros. The cons, it's harder to maintain speed, difficult to maintain flex and flow. You run out of desk space. And also for controller, it can be difficult to track fast moving targets. 
But sometimes you may actually find, based on your own biological strengths that you actually may find it easier to flick better. This also depends on personal preference. Now let's talk high sensitivity. The pros are it's easier to main flow, meaning like bouncing between targets and not putting stress on your shoulder or your arm. It's easier to flick at a higher sensitivity just because you don't have to worry about speed. And naturally you're much faster. The cons though is that it can be harder to control. It can be difficult to maintain consistency and harder to hit precise shots. Also, even the temperature of the room can affect that just because blood flow is important because it requires precision. Precision is always going to be a bit more difficult. Now, hopefully this video was relatively effective in getting the point across about why changing your ADS sensitivity. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.